computer science department and faculty members and participants in the inaugural session of ICT based program on cloud computing. Presently, we are connected with seven centers TTC Jodhpur, Delhi Technological University, Sri Sai College of Engineering and Technology, Pathanpur, Institute of Management Sciences, Jammu. Uh, good morning, DTU. DTU, please mute. Uh, please mute your speakers. Mic. Mic. Please mute your mic. Okay. Uh, so seven centers are TTC Jodhpur, Delhi Technological University, Sri Sai College of Engineering and Technology, Pathanpur, Institute of Management Sciences, Jammu, Riyadh Polytechnic College, Rail Majra, SSIT, Dera Basi. Institute of Technology and Management, Bhilwada. Out of these seven centers, five are connected through video conferencing and two are connected through YouTube. Out of these, SSIT, Dera Basi and Institute of Management Sciences, Jammu are connected through YouTube and remaining are connected through video conferencing. I welcome local coordinators, chief guests and participants at our nodal centers and I'll come back to you again for introductory address by chief case through local coordinators. So now this course is on cloud computing and it will be of five days and I hope you will enjoy every session of the course and will gain something from each session. I expect from the participants to be sincere and regular in every session. We have invited experts from industries as well as from reputed institutions. Uh, now I request Dr. Maitri Datta to give an overview of the course. Thank you, Mala. First of all, I welcome our Vadi Director, Dr. M.P. Punia. And also, I welcome Dr. Asis Patnaik, who is the uh, coordinator of ICT-based technical program. I welcome the, all the participants who have come here at NITER Chandigarh to attend this course on cloud computing. And also, I welcome the participants, including the local coordinators and the respected chief guests at the various nodal centers who are connected with our institute. As Mala said that uh, seven centers, uh, we have been connected with seven centers. Some centers are connected with uh, VC equipment and some centers are connected through YouTube. But we will try our best that uh, the uh, um, relay of this, uh, uh, you know, the program will be uh, visible and clearly, uh, cl it will be very clear at all the nodal centers. If you find any difficulty at any moment, you can just contact directly doctor, with Dr. S.S. Patnaik or me or Mala Kalra because she is the coordinator of this course. Uh, this course on cloud computing, we have floated uh, through ICT because uh, we know that uh, cloud computing is a very important topic nowadays from user point of view, from organizational point of view, as well as from research point of view. Uh, as a researcher or as a user, if you need a high end of equipment, including the servers, including the storage systems, applications, high end applications or services, which is difficult for yourself as a user to spend so much of money on those equipments. And also sometimes the organization also uh, may not have so much capital budget, you know, to spend on these equipments. So uh, this is the best uh, concept to jump into the cloud and to hire all these equipments, the storage devices and all the networking equipments which are available at the data centers through rent basis. Basically, the cloud computing gives us the flexibility, the scalability and also the elasticity. You can say that whenever you require the uh, high end capacity memory directly, you can uh, hire from at the rent basis from the data centers. 
and as and when you uh, do not want that much of memory you can release that is the elasticity uh, capacity of uh, um, cloud computing and uh, this cloud computing is very much uh, uh, is actually it is different from the grid computing because nowadays uh, before uh, you can say that grid computing was very much on high hot topic but uh, grid computing was used to just uses of the computers for a specific type of program you know the for to use the idle cycles computer cycles which are idle then you can use those computers and you can uh, successfully complete your one specific program but cloud computing gives us the flexibility to connect with the cloud or to hire the same equipment from the different from different users different users can hire the same equipment same servers of course you will be given the given the login and password so that your data will be secured your data should not be seen from the other uh, users all those things are there of course there are some security issues which will be discussed in this course so uh, basically the cloud computing course we will be giving in the first day we will be giving the overview of the cloud computing and also the cloud services and testing how you will test the clouds and how will you hire the cloud what are the clouds available to you that you can hire the cloud then uh, in the next day that is your on tuesday we will be giving the simulation on cloud sims uh, simulator the all the centers must have got the dvds and whoever have not got the dvds they will be uh, getting today only because we have uh, couriered all the dvds who have uh, connected through youtube otherwise who are connected with uh, uh, vc equi equipment we have sent through by hand only those dvds so the coordinators are requested to install those android programming though which will be in the second half tomorrow that uh, the dvds you should install at each and every computer so that after uh, um, the demo of the expert you will be able to uh, coordinate the uh, practical session at your own centers on the third day again uh, dr maninder singh from thapar university patiala he will be giving the open source software that is cloud stack how to practically set up the cloud on tuesday we will give the simulation that how you can simulate the cloud in the third day we will give you the demo that how practically you can set up the cloud with the open source software this is a cloud stack it is uh, easily available and you can download this software from the uh, internet and in the second half dr c ramakrishna of our uh, department uh, uh, he will be uh, giving the uh, expert lectures on security issues in cloud and on the thursday we will be giving the linux concepts and also the virtualization because virtualization is the very key uh, concept of cloud computing whenever you are using the cloud or on hire basis or rent basis because you are using those servers or those memories on virtual basis right so virtualization is a very key topic so that's why we have kept the virtualization and also the hypervisor hypervisor and the zen cloud operating system that is generally used for cloud operating system and also we will be giving uh, the infrastructure as a service and platform as a service there are three services available that we will come to know in the overview of cloud computing that uh, there are three services one is a software as a service infrastructure as a service and platform as a service so the demo versions of this two will be given to you as uh, uh, on thursday evening and also on the friday and also uh, uh, mr bipin gupta from unet solution he is from industry he will be giving the demo on cloud storage uh, and finally we will uh, be taking the uh, feedback and validation on the second half of friday so this is the all about your uh, the cloud computing course and uh, i'm sure that all of you will be gaining a lot and uh, on the research point of view it will help you all the colleges faculties of these colleges so that you can proceed for the research work in cloud computing and i am sure that you will also support us and uh, our faculty i am assuring you that all of our faculty members including the experts from outside they will be giving their best and i'm sure that you will support them
thank you and all the best to mala also the coordinator of this course and all the participants at nitra chandigarh and the uh, various centers thank you so much thank you ma'am now i come back to our nodal centers ttc jodhpur could you hear me ttc jodhpur Yes, yes, uh, good morning, TTC Jodhpur. Mr. Ajay Agarwal, local coordinator. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, kindly introduce the chief guest at your place. Yes, kindly introduce the chief guest at your place. Our chief guest is uh, our joint director, Mr. Abhijit Manohar, and uh, he is with us. Uh, he can give uh, few, few words. I welcome Dr. Arun Moy, Joint Director, TTC Jodhpur, in the inaugural session of ICT-based program on cloud computing. I request Dr. Moy to address the participants. I request Dr. Moy to address the participants. Dr. Moy. Senior sir, respected uh, Madam Madam and Madam uh, sir, and all the distinguished guests sitting at different centers. Uh, it's a uh, really a great pleasure that uh, we are having such advanced students at this course center. Actually, the two fields, electronics and computer science, and radical change they have uh, in many fields. When it, it was started, uh, it was working, and now it is uh, going with rocket. The so technology is going. At a very high speed, and uh, such courses are really very important for our teachers. So I am highly thankful to Punya sir that uh, he has given us the opportunity to link up with uh, NIT Kolkata and Chandigarh, and we are fortunate enough that we are having such advanced courses with you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Moy. Uh, now I come to Delhi Technological University, DTU. Delhi Technological University. Are you able to hear my voice? Yes, uh, Professor N S Raghava, local coordinator. Yes, uh, kindly, uh, kindly introduce the chief guest over there. Uh, my uh, chief guest is Professor P D Sharma, who is the vice chancellor of our university. Okay. Are you able to hear me? Yes. Uh, I welcome Professor P D Sharma, vice chancellor at D T U. In the inaugural session of ICT based program on cloud computing, I request him to address the participants. I request Dr. Sharma, Professor Sharma, to address the participants. Uh, sir, Professor Sharma. Yes, Professor Raghav. Professor Raghav, N S Raghava ji, uh, please mic mic थोड़ा सा. Sir, sir, वो mic को uh, honourable vice chancellor के पास में रख दीजिए. वो mic जो है उठा के उनका सामने रख दीजिए. May I take this opportunity to thank NIPTR for giving us this opportunity to join in the national effort to bring the cloud computing power. I'm really very happy that Dr. Raghava has been able to ensure a very healthy participation to this program. Almost 60 members of the faculty from Delhi Technological University, including some of them from other government institutions like. Great institutions of technology, GES, IIT University, also the institutions which are government institutions of engineering and then teachers are participating in this program. Let me say that we are here to ensure that we understand the value and worth of cloud computing as a service to improve the quality of our own education, delivery, as well as to ensure that we are able to share. Vast infrastructure is already exist around the world by joining 
into the cloud computing for education service, for service for our research and development, as well as to ensure. Morning. Okay, Joy in this national effort to create India's cloud computing power. Ranawa and his team have been able to put together about 60 teachers from Delhi Technological University as well as from institutions in the neighborhood, including AIT, ETSI, and the Java. We are here to understand how we can try to use NITPR. I am a partner in the future to Thank you, Professor Sharma, Honorable Vice Chancellor at Delhi Technological University. Uh, now I come back to Institute of Management Sciences, Jammu. I am in Jammu. Uh, I am in Jammu. Jammu. Uh, Anil, sir. Sir, please introduce uh, your guest. I am Ms. Jammu. Could you hear me? So we are not hearing you. Uh, I think your mic is mute. Uh, Sri Sai College of Engineering and Technology, Pathanpur. Hello. Hello. Morning, Good morning. Could you hear me? Yeah, uh, Mr. Anshu Chopra, local coordinator. Uh, yes, can you introduce the chief guest at your place? Our chief guest is Sri Satanta Kumar Mukherjee. He is the uh, former body chancellor of the Kumbh Pagani Bishop Jagat. I was at the time of the Kumbh Pagani Bishop Jagat. I welcome Professor Swatantra Kumar Mukherjee. At SSCET Patanpur, I request Professor Murgai to address the participants. I request Professor Murgai to address the participants. You can proceed further, sir. I request Professor Murgai to address the participants. Hello. Hello. Could you hear me? Could you hear me? Oh, sorry. Uh, I request Professor Murgai to address the participants. 
Hello. I am welcoming all the dignitaries who are sitting here from the Sai group of uh, institutions. I also welcome and thanks from my chairman, G.S. Kipun. This is a marvelous program which you are holding here. I personally known to Mr. S.S. Uh, Patnai. He visited Gurukul Kangri Vishwavidyalaya so many times and holding such type of workshops. These workshops are very useful and effective for the further and future studies of the students. I wish this program should be organized time and again. And I also offer from my science institutes, you should hold such type of programs here. Uh, we will provide all the facility to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Murgi. Uh, now, RPC Rail Mashra. RPC Rail Mashra, could you hear me? RPC Rail Mashra. Yes. Mr. Sumit Bagga. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, now I request Dr. S. S. Patnai to tell us about the technologies through which we are able to run this course to ICC. <laughs> I am S. Jammu. Uh, I am please uh, respond. I am S. Jammu, could you hear me? Sir, your mic off. Hai. Mic on. Kar सनी आवाज नहीं आ रही सर माइक ऑफ है आपका ओके आई विल कम बैक टू यू सून Good morning, Professor M.P. Punia, our Honorable Director. Dignitaries at various places, uh, Professor Satundra Kumar uh, at uh, Sai Institute. Uh, Namaskar, sir. After a long time, I'm seeing you. And dignitaries at different places who are attending this particular program, Honorable Vice Chancellor of DTU. This is a program which I always say seeing is believing and linking is realizing. So this is a stage which we have brought to you people that to realize how technology can really help to attend that which you could not attend so far and you you are just seeing those things in pen and paper. And it could uh, we could realize this thing way back in September 2012 <coughs> under the visionary leadership of Professor M.P. Punia who told why not to try this. And for your information, so far we have completed 35 induction programs successfully. And after that, we tried the technical program, and the technical program leader was Professor M.P. Punia himself. He conducted the first technical program through this ICT mode, that is on IC engine. Then after seeing the successful story of this technical program, we thought, let the operational plan be operated through this ICT mode, so that the expertise which are available at Chandigarh or nearby place of Chandigarh or the expertise which are hired from different places by Chandigarh are available to our clientele system. And this is the way this second program on disaster management was completed on technical series. And this is third in this series where we have another academic endeavor where Madam Karla has taken an initiative to conduct some practical program through this ICT mode. So this is one step added to the technical series. So previous works were basically talk based talk. And now it is again a practical aspect which has been added to here. So before uh, I come to the technology, what is required here, let me introduce my or the director who is the chief guest of this function today. Professor M.P. Punia is professionally basically a mechanical engineer, a M.Tech PhD from IIT Delhi, a Institute of international report, so he has contributed significantly in his research field, being the two highest degree from a very good institute. So academically, he has a dent in his professional career, but from administration point of view, he was principal in Bikaner Engineering College. Now it is the university, and a dying institute becomes the university because of his leadership. And when he was leaving that institute, he made this institute to be self-sufficient and in fact they started giving money to the state government rather than getting money from the state government. But before coming to NIT TTR Chandigarh, uh, sir was the Dean uh, Planning and Development of uh, uh, MNIT Jaipur where he was handling almost all 500 crores projects. So that way he is, he is a man who is uh, professionally good at the same time administration point of view who has a vast experience of administration and after reaching here we are seeing his capability of leading the institute. Professor Punia has uh, many feathers to his cap in terms of prestigious award and he was declared uh, the engineers of the year. So that way he has uh, many credits to his uh, credibility and his uh, professional careers. So we are fortunate enough to have a leader like him who has a first attitude of saying yes. He is a leader who never says no and he is a very encouraging leader 
and I wish every institute get a leader like him and we are fortunate to have him here. Now coming back to the technical programs, uh, for this type of linking, uh, this is a very low cost approach which we are adopting. If you are going to be connected with us through a video conferencing equipment, then we need one Mbps bandwidth at your end. Almost all, all the institute you are having more than that bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So during this period, please divert one Mbps dedicatedly for this purpose. And the video conferencing equipment, all with uh, is my uh, integrated codec, integrated computer, everything cost around 3 lakhs rupees. So if you don't have a 3 lakhs rupees to spend at right moment, then we have further a low cost approach that is through the Google Hangout we are linking the centers. So Google Hangouts needs almost all 512 kbps bandwidth. I hope this is possible by any institute. Then we need a computer with webcam. If you don't have, then generally what we are adopting now is a laptop with a cam. So almost all, all the laptop now is coming with a camera with an inbuilt mic. So we request to put a external mic there and a speaker, external mm -hmm. speaker, so that the people can uh, hear and uh, listen to us and a LCD projector to be connected to that laptop so that you can hear us. So through your camera we see you, that laptop camera, and through the LCD projector you'll see us. So this is the way the two centers, the SSIT, Deravasi, who used to be always get connected through us, uh, through video conferencing with us. This time we tried uh, Google Hangout with them. And the place like Jammu where uh, there is a lot of problem in opening up the ports uh, in terms of the bandwidth. Now they are also linked with us through the Google Hangout. So what I suggest, uh, those centers who are connected to us through VC also, let them have a standby Google Hangout so that in case there is a fall in uh, data rate or your bandwidth is uh, having some problem, then you can really get connected with us through the Google Hangout. There will not be any back of link if you have an alternative arrangement with you. So this is a very low cost approach which uh, we are utilizing the social media to get connected and please do that and at the same time whatever being discussed here and whatever being taught here or whatever being told here is available in YouTube. So even if you are missing some of the classes, even if you are missing some of the discussion, you can download from that from the YouTube and the ID is NITTRTRCSD. Just go to YouTube.com then in that ID NITTRTR33 not 2T. Uh, N I Triple T R C H D Chandigarh C H D. This is all continuous. ये idea आप देने से हमारा logo आएगा जो logo आप दिख रहे हैं. वो logo को click करने से almost all 300 videos are available. Even induction program and this program also will be available. And this now is also under live transmission. Anybody throughout the world can see us right away through this live transmission which is going on. So what Professor Sarma was talking from, Honorable Vice Chancellor was talking from DTU or Professor Sarnar was talking from other places, everything is now loaded to YouTube. So that is the type of options we have given that you are online, you are offline linked with us and, uh, and the technology are already known to you. You people know how to use social network. So just use that and take advantage of this social network and start learning from the experts which are available. This, in this endeavor, we are also having the option of uh, asking the experts from your end to participate in this. So maybe in future, we'll see that some of the experts of the institute like Delhi Technical University can be requested so that they can deliver from their end uh, those type of expertise talk and it will be beneficial to the people who are really not getting chance to hear to those type of experts. With this word, I really uh, means, uh, congratulating all of you to get linked to this technical endeavor and my sincere appreciation and thanks to our honorable director who is a leader. Uh, he has given all us all the freedom. So whatever you are seeing today or whatever uh, achievement you are seeing, it is because of his leadership and the free end given to us. So with this word, I thank and congratulate the coordinator for getting so many participants and the HOD of the department, Dr. Maitri Dato, coordinator, Professor Malakarla. Uh, it is a wonderful efforts and I think it has given one step ahead of the activities which have been done so far. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. S. S. Patnai, for providing this valuable knowledge. Now I request our worthy director, Dr. M. P. Punia, to give an inaugural address. Uh, thank you, Ms. Mala Kalera, uh, Professor Patnaik, Dr. Maitri Datta, 
ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर डेली टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर पी वी शर्मा प्रोफेसर स्वतंत्र कुमार प्रोफेसर वर्मा प्रोफेसर मोइल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ नीटर चंडीगढ़ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वेलकम एंड होप दिस प्रोग्राम दिस फाइव डेज प्रोग्राम विल बी ए वंडरफुल सक्सेस फ्रॉम नीटर चंडीगढ़ साइड एज फार एज अवर इंस्टीट्यूट इज कंसर्न वी हैव बीन स्टार्टेड बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन नाइनटीन And our earlier mandate, which we had, that was basically to train polytechnic teachers to to increase their potential. And its name was Triple T, Technical Teachers Training Institute. In 2003, our mandate has been changed, and we have been renamed as well as responsibilities have been changed. The new name has been given as NI Triple T, our National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research. of such type four institutes we are having in india one we are having at chandigarh another one we are having at bhopal third one we are having at calcutta and fourth one at chennai in our region we are having nine states starting from jammu and kashmir one one center we are connected at present one center is connected from jammu and kashmir then himachal punjab haryana delhi chandigarh rajasthan up and uttarakhand nine states we are having and at present in nine states we are having 4500 polytechnic engineering colleges mba mca these many institutes we are having so when i joined this institute in the month of july july 2012 i discussed with my faculty members that per year how many teachers we are able to train because our sole mandate is basically to impart training to teachers first of all we should be grateful to government of india and that to in 1966 67 they were planning to train teachers technical teachers when condition of the country we were fighting with pakistan we were fighting with china and and we were in a bad shape that time our policy makers they were planning to have training for technical teachers so you you can imagine the seriousness of those great contributors in the country so certainly responsibility of our institute is too much and as compared to that time the number of institutes which are having i am saying in our region we are having 4500 institutes throughout india it is more than 9000 institutes we are having total number of students which are passing it is 35 lakhs it is just like population of singapore so when i joined this institute i have discussed with my faculty members with professors that how many teachers we are able to train per year they said sir our capacity is uh, around 4500 teachers physically teachers either they are coming to nitra chandigarh or we people are going to different institutes and we are conducting uh, the, the training programs in this mode so i said we are having 4500 institutes in our region every year we are uh, imparting training to 4500 teachers so from every institute one teacher we are able to capture so i think it will take some 50 years average 50 teachers if every institute is having it will take 50 years to reach every teacher so i said the the the, the mode which you are having that you please continue but in addition to this one if these technologies this ict facilities can be utilized to interact with the teachers i think it may uh, enhance our uh, the, the target which we are having or uh, our our grip which we are having in the institutes it can be expanded so in the month of september 2012 we have started these type of programs earlier the programs which we have started those were induction training program mainly for the new teachers new entrants in this in this field in what way they let to take classes in what way contents has to be delivered in what way question papers has to be set in in what way leadership qualities in this friends has to be inculcated so the, those type of contents we have kept and you will be surprised that in addition to that those 4500 teachers up to 31st march 2013 we could train around 5500 more teachers means last year in place of 4500 teachers we were able to train 10000 teachers so it just it has been doubled and the cost of the training because teachers are coming here means ta da everything even experts are going to different places lot of time is needed lot of money is needed but in this case because center is here we people are here at chandigarh we are delivering from here so experts only at one place and number of centers are connected and teachers are sitting at their own place so no tada nothing is needed even they are doing their own jobs also and your training program starts at 
10, it closes at 4. So up to 10, they are doing their own work classes, everything they are arranging. Even after 4, they are busy in their, their routine works also. So the cost of the training of the teachers, it has gone down. Um, earlier, our per year expenditures on the training were 1.3, 1.4 crores for those 4,500 teachers. And the additional 5,500 teachers which are trained, for that purpose, only we spent 70 lakhs. So the cost of training has gone down. So we were we were um, highly enthusiastic. Our team was highly enthusiastic. Our this TV studio from where we, we are delivering it is just like a um, TV studio means actual TV studio from uh, which is being used for this purpose. The quality of um, editing, the, the the quality of recording, the lighting, the sound, everything which we are having, even it is better than the the Chandigarh studio uh, TV studio which we are having. So many of the programs we have conducted and this year the O plan which we have prepared, we have prepared for 20,000 teachers, not 4,500, 20,000 teachers. And at present I think seven centers are connected. Last program which we have conducted on disaster management, content based program which we have conducted, there were five centers. And first program which we have started in, at the end, in, in, in the uh, end of May, that time 10 centers were connected. And uh, that program, I myself and uh, person from industry, person from IIT, uh, we are invited here. So myself, I have taken some fundamentals of internal combustion engine. Uh, Professor A. Ramesh from IIT Chennai, I, I invited. He has delivered that what advancements are taking place, what research in this particular area is taking place. And then we have invited uh, one, one uh, expert from Maruti. He has explained that in what way technologies are being implemented. Latest technologies, internal combustion engines are getting implemented, Euro 1 to Euro 4, 5, how uh, the changes which has been taken place in technology, in fuel technology or engine technology, those many issues have been discussed and around 20 videos which have been, I mean lectures which have been delivered, those videos are available as Professor Patnaik was saying, it is available on YouTube. So it's a great help to teachers, it's a great help to students and again and again the difficulty which our country is facing, we are having just like explosion in technical education. Not only in engineering, it is in MBA or in management or computer application or polytechnic. It is just like explosion. When explosion in technical education is taking place, explosion in, in, in teachers also in, in, is needed, explosion in quality of teachers also needed. But unfortunate part is we don't have teachers. The same proportion and the, the, the way the number of students are um, getting added into this technical education in the same fashion, teachers are not getting attracted. Uh, Professor P. B. Sharma sir. First of all, I'll be extending my sincere thanks specifically to you, sir, for sparing time. I was your student at IIT Delhi. You taught us guest dynamics. And every moment, I remember the way you were delivering <laughs> DTU. And you were in IIT Delhi earlier, sir, and then DTU you joined, and it has become a wonderful institute, institute of national repute. Everyone is quoting this institute. So it was a great time with you, and I request please spare some time to visit this institute and at least deliver some of the lectures, particularly on gas dynamics, which is really a um, basic subject, slightly tough subject and very difficult to understand. So people like you, if we can bring here at this particular platform, I think the, the problem which is coming that good students are not getting attracted to this teaching profession. IIT students, VTech students, they are, they, are, they are not going for MTech. Not a single student is joining MTech program because good packages they are getting in Infosys or TCS or many, many multinationals which we are having. And same is the situation of NIT students, even DTU, the students who are passing from there, those good students are not coming in this teaching profession. So whomsoever is there, the, the, the number may be less, even experience of the teacher may be less, but through this mode, by utilizing expertise of the people who are really con contributing into this field, we can invite them they can deliver lectures from here. Those lectures can be available for everyone. I think with this mode, many of the problems which country is facing, it can be sorted out. And uh, some of the lectures, just like uh, uh, jo, uh, MHRD ne jo kiya, apne jo lectures, eh? NPTL, just like NPTL, no? same type of series we people would like to generate, specifically for polytechnics. Because in nine states, the polytechnics which we are having, even medium in different states are different. So it's very difficult for them to understand in English. So those can be converted into Punjabi or Rajasthani. So 
that that the contents which are available it can be um, in in a better way th those can be understood by the student so for polytechnic subjects say in civil engineering some 10 subjects are there we are inviting experts here in one particular subjects for soil mechanics if some 20 lectures can be uh, recorded here and those lectures can be available to the students of the polytechnic students and teachers of the polytechnic i think it will serve the society in a better way some of the lectures already we have started to record even the laboratory part which we are facing a problem the biggest challenge which country is having uh, in addition to the teachers problem that is our laboratory component is very weak the students are very weak in practical part even our teachers are very weak in practical part so hands on practice part is concerned for strengthening that one some of the videos related to our experimental setups, our experimental work, we are, we are recording here. But our institute is basically meant for PG programs, our MTech program, PhD program. So some of the institutes we are selecting where laboratory facilities are quite good, their teachers are quite competent. We are sending our teams, our video team uh, with recording facility, they are reaching to those institutes. And those experimental setups with, with, with all practical capabilities are getting recorded. And those videos we are keeping on our website. For one hour video, if any teacher who is taking initiative is coming to need a Chandigarh or in their own laboratories, if recording is uh, being done, then we are giving 5,000 rupees for one hour recording. So I am requesting to all the teachers that wherever they feel comfortable, wherever they feel that I am competent in this particular area and I can do justice with this one, I am I'm giving invitation to them, please do join hands with us and the target, the mission, the government of India is having the effort which our team is doing special efforts uh, to for this program and uh, Dr. Mala Karlra, then Dr. Metri Datta, the special efforts which these people are doing, I think it will be a great help in, in, in strengthening these type of programs and it will be a great help to this country. With these words, I'm extending again my sincere thanks to my team members, to ETV department team and participants who are at faraway places in the country and uh, I hope that this program will be great success and particularly it is a resource sharing the this the cloud computing which we are saying it is a resource sharing just like uh, our Punjab University Vice Chancellor Professor Grover is um, trying effort to share all the resources which Chandigarh is having here around 10 institutes we are having which are of national repute and different institutes are having different facilities he is trying to code, um, um, the, the, the integrate them someone is having a very good facilities in computer someone is having very good laboratories in electronics department, someone is having good infrastructure facilities, so another one is having good guest house, so he's trying to integrate in fact and best utilization of those uh, resources. So in the same fashion, the cloud computing which we are having, it is basically resource utilization. It may be related to software, it may be related to hardware, wherever, whatever is possible, even your library, e-library wherever is possible, e-journals wherever is possible, through this cloud computing, anyone can assess same type of effort our institute is also doing we are trying to to procure some of the books rare books which are available we, we would like to put all those books um, through uh, this this cloud computing so that our friends wherever they are sitting in in the country they can assess those books even our videos which we are having we are we are we are making our tie ups uh, with with the different organization so that our videos our books which we have published the the, the resource metal which we have published it can be utilized by everyone so I hope the, the type of efforts which our team is doing, it will um, bring a name and fame to this institute and it will be a help to teachers as well as friends. So thank you, thank you very much for giving opportunity to Nita Chandigarh. Thank you. Thank you so much sir Please. for motivating us to conduct this program and for providing us support and valuable time. Thanks to all local coordinators, chief guests and participants at all nodal centers. Thanks uh, to all the participants who are sitting here. Now I would request all, the, all of you to assemble outside the studio for a cup of tea. We will meet again at 11.30 a.m. for first session at Cloud Computing. Very good. Wonderful.